Anthony, we're talking today about FATCA, and this is part one in a series. We're going to touch on a whole bunch of information, but we want to start with the basics, just what the heck is FATCA? Uh, We know that it stands for Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act. It was passed into law in March 2010, and it was part of the higher... The Hire Act of 2010, which was the Hiring Incentives to Restore Employment Act of 2010, and there were some tax cuts in that, uh, which allowed you not to have to pay payroll taxes for new uh, new hires. And when the federal government proposes a tax cut, they always have to find some offset, something that's going to pay for it. So someone had the brilliant idea that, oh, you know what, there's all this hidden money all around the world that people aren't reporting. And if we make it really, really painful and difficult uh, for people to avoid, uh, even though there was already the FBAR filing requirements, if we make a new requirement and a new requirement on off on non-U.S. banks to investigate if they have any U.S. account holders, um, then that will pay for it because we'll close our alleged tax gap. And the the tax gap is this fictitious number that somebody just makes up to say this is this is the revenue that we should be getting to the to the government, but this is all we're getting. And, right. and they just there's really not a, a, a any methodology to it. It's just really people guessing. Yeah. So it is a federal law. It requires all U.S. taxpayers to report their non-U.S. financial accounts yearly. And it also includes people living outside of the U.S. So that's sort of double taxation for them, isn't it? Well, not quite double taxation. Um, that it's just really, you know, that, that FATCA is just additional reporting. Okay. There's no additional taxes with FATCA. It's just additional reporting. Now there's additional penalties. Yeah. And I know we'll be doing a video on that. Yep. Uh, but there's no additional taxes. With okay. So you do need to file a uh, form 8938 it has to be reported to the IRS. Again, you still have to do your F bar. Correct. So that's sort of parallel reporting requirements. It's pretty close. Uh, there, there are some things that go on a, an F bar that don't go on in 8938 and vice versa. Um, but some things that do go on both. Oh, okay. Right. Very sensical. Mm -hmm. Um, This also affects foreign and financial institutions. So the the flip side of this is FATCA requires all non-U.S. financial institutions to search their records for suspected U.S. persons and report their identities and assets to the U.S. Treasury. That is correct. And that is pretty crazy when you think about it. I mean, it is absolutely insane because you could really have a non-U.S. bank who has no... U.S. persons as account holders still has to go through the incredible compliance burden of FATCA for something they get no benefit for, but they still have the cost to go through the entire due diligence program required of FATCA. And we were sort of hoping there might be some sort of worldwide rebellion against the U.S., but of course the U.S. dropped the hammer. There's penalties that also affect the financial institutions. That's right. Their cash flow could really be hammered, uh, really be cut off if uh, they do not play ball. Yep. And it's sort of, it is disheartening to see how many, uh, how how, um, I thought countries would, would rebel against this because the costs are completely onerous. And really, this is, this is the issue, is that somebody's going to have to look at all these names. Mm-hmm. Okay. And there is a risk for a data breach because you have to run all these people who are non-U.S. persons. You're putting them at risk for a law that's not even in your country law Mm -hmm. that has nothing to do with them. Yep. So I I guess the the U.S. thought it was going to um, sort of generate revenue, hidden revenue Mm -hmm. that they could then spend. But it doesn't seem to be working out that way. That's right. Uh, the you know they're they're convinced that there's all this money hidden offshore. Uh, that's how they set up the offshore voluntary disclosure program, and the results are completely underwhelming. Uh, I think that is now up to ten billion of revenue uh, collected, most of that in penalties, not taxes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's a really really small amount uh, that is is not collected. And as we said, you know there's ways for the IRS to actually do things to collect revenue that would be substantial. One of those is uh, the uh, estate tax for non-U.S. persons who, who inherit property in the U.S. Mm-hmm. And we're figuring there's somewhere about 100 to $200 billion a year that they might be able to get. But no. 
but no. Let's do this instead. Instead. Uh, Now, there are pretty big penalties if you don't comply. Uh, What I would say is make sure you subscribe to our channel because we're going to be doing a whole series on FATCA, including why is FATCA so annoying, uh, penalties for banks, penalties for uh, taxpayers. So like this video, uh, comment if you have questions, and subscribe so you get updates. Thanks for watching. IRS Medic, the Law Offices of Parent and Parent, LLP. Real tax attorneys for tough tax problems.